Colombia, a country generally in the news for violence and drug trafficking, but now famous as the birthplace of a radical new form of eye surgery, one which marks a revolution to be ranked alongside the invention of spectacles. It has been a great advance for mankind, the fact that we can now take off our glasses and not depend on a visual aid anymore. Diane Kapir suffers from chronic short-sightedness. Without glasses, things far away are blurred. I depend on glasses almost 24 hours a day. I sometimes even sleep with them because I forget to take them off when I go to bed. She's come to be operated on by Dr. Carmen Barraker, who will correct her vision by reshaping the cornea or outer skin of Diana's eye using a laser. Formed with just a local anaesthetic, the operation is known as LASIK. It changes the angle or refraction at which light passes through the cornea, so sharpening the focus of the eye. It takes just a few minutes, but it can put an end to a lifetime of poor vision. I didn't feel anything. The only ugly thing is the smell as it burns, but it takes no time at all. For me, it seemed like eternity, but I imagine for everyone else, it was very fast. Carmen takes Diana's bandages off a few minutes later, and she's able to leave the clinic almost immediately. More than 100,000 operations like this will be performed in Colombia this year. More than a million in America. And it all began here in Bogota with the work of Carmen's father, Jose Ignacio Barraquer. My father is the father of refractive eye surgery. I think José Ignacio Barraque was the first person in the world to think of modifying the refraction of the human being. Born in Barcelona in Spain, José Ignacio Barraque was from a dynasty of eye surgeons. This 1917 film, the first ever made of an eye operation, shows his father, Ignacio Barraque, removing a cataract. Operations such as these, aimed at curing blindness, were the main focus of eye surgery at the time. But the young Jose Ignacio Barraque wanted to take things a step further. Filmed here performing a corneal transplant in the 1940s, he began looking at ways of altering the shape of the cornea so as to correct poor vision. It was a revolutionary concept. It's as if today, to give an example, we decided we wanted to alter the shape of the moon. In those days, it was seen as madness. But by 1949, he'd worked out, in theory at least, how the eye could be altered to sharpen its focus. In 1953, he moved to Bogota in order to escape the shadow of his father. There, he started trying to put his ideas into practice. To modern ears, the method he came up with sounds frighteningly crude. He explained it in a video made shortly before his death in 1998. You cut off a small slice of the cornea of a predetermined size and shape. You then harden this corneal tissue by means of freezing it. You then work it on a lathe. Carmen still has one of the first lathes her father developed for the job. He'd simply adapted it from one used to make watches. You had to wait until the cornea had turned white. Once the cornea was frozen, you moved the blade towards it. This old film shows it being used to rework an actual human cornea. Now, instead of using a lathe, we use a laser. The laser is simply an instrument. The surgical technique is the same. Perhaps not surprisingly, the Mali Clinic, where Barraquer worked at the time, was initially reluctant to allow him to use it on the premises. All this equipment was at home in a laboratory. The patients were in the clinic. He had to take the cornea, freeze it, come home, work it, and return to the clinic. For a year, Barraquer found himself endlessly dashing between the clinic and his house, clutching frozen corneas in his hand. 
Finally, in 1968, he opened a clinic of his own and was soon carrying out successful operations. Dr. Luis Ruiz was one of hundreds of eye surgeons from Colombia and abroad who studied there. Later, he and Barraca managed to simplify the operation. The new technique involved leaving the slice of cornea attached to the eye while the operation was carried out. Afterwards, it was simply folded back into place. It was a key advance. This was really the basis for the LASIK technique, which is now famous all over the world. The use of lasers, developed simultaneously in various places outside Colombia, simply replaced the metal tools Barraca and his colleagues had been using. The basic technique remained the same. For him, it was like the culmination of his life's work, because it drew the attention of the entire world to his surgical methods. Years will pass, and the basis established by him will continue to be the foundation of refractive correction. A week later, and Diana is fully recovered and back at work, living proof of the technique's effectiveness. It was like being born again. It was as if someone had taken a veil from my eyes. I could see everything clearly. Nothing was blurred. I could perceive and appreciate everything that was around me again. She's now thrown her glasses away. For her and millions of others, blurred vision is now a thing of the past. Thank you.